welcome you all to study with Malsha YouTube channel. What's the difference you see between these two documents? For sure, you will say the second document is much clearer to understand. So here comes the time to use smart art rather than just filling the content with text. In this example, I am going to create a diagram to show the students at my school. Let's get started by clicking on the interface so that the smart art will display here. Then go to the insert tab, select the smart art command and you will see a list of different categories to choose from. I would like to explain about IPO cycle to my students with this smart art. So here I will choose the process option. Now I will select the diagram that I need. Here you can see a preview on the right side. Now let's click OK. You can see with this left text pane, I can add the content of my diagram. So I will start filling the content. You can see, it will also be resized to fit the shapes automatically. With the enter key, you can add new shapes to the list. If you need to delete any shape, you can easily select the level and delete with the backspace key. Okay. Now let's talk about these design and format tabs. So from here also you can easily add, rearrange as well as remove shapes in your diagram. Now I'm going to change the appearance of my diagram. So here I can use this smart art styles. By using the drop down arrow you can see all the styles available here. With this change color command, you can easily change the color of your diagram. With the layout tab, you can change the structure of your diagram. So my dear kids, what if you need to change the color of each shape separately as your own? Here you can use the format tab, shape fill option. So, with smart art, you can make your document more attractive and organized. So, my dear kids, I hope this part is very clear for you. So, let's meet you with the next video soon. Thank you very much.